A gas engine is an internal combustion engine which runs on a gas fuel, such as coal gas, producer gas, biogas, landfill gas or natural gas. In the UK, the term is unambiguous. In the US, due to the widespread use of gas as an abbreviation for gasoline, such an engine might also be called a gaseous fueled engine or natural gas engine or spark ignited. Generally the term gas engine refers to a heavy-duty industrial engine capable of running continuously at full load for periods approaching a high fraction of 8,760 hours per year, unlike a gasoline automobile engine, which is lightweight, high revving and typically runs for no more than 4,000 hours in its entire life. Typical power ranges from 10 kilowatts 13 horsepower to 4 megawatts 5364 horsepower. Topic: History. Topic: Lenoir There were many experiments with gas engines in the 19th century but the first practical gas-fueled internal combustion engine was built by the Belgian engineer Étienne Lenoir in 1860. However, the Lenoir engine suffered from a low power output and high fuel consumption. Topic Otto and Langen His work was further researched and improved by a German engineer Nikolaus August Otto, who was later to invent the first four-stroke engine to efficiently burn fuel directly in a piston chamber. In August 1864 Otto met Eugen Langen who, being technically trained, glimpsed the potential of Otto's development, and one month after the meeting, founded the first engine factory in the world, Na Otto and C., in Cologne. In 1867 Otto patented his improved design and it was awarded the grand prize at the 1867 Paris World Exhibition. This atmospheric engine worked by drawing a mixture of gas and air into a vertical cylinder. When the piston has risen about 8 inches, the gas and air mixture is ignited by a small pilot flame burning outside, which forces the piston which is connected to a toothed rack upwards, creating a partial vacuum beneath it. No work is done on the upward stroke. The work is done when the piston and toothed rack descend under the effects of atmospheric pressure and their own weight, turning the main shaft and flywheels as they fall. Its advantage over the existing steam engine was its ability to be started and stopped on demand, making it ideal for intermittent work such as barge loading or unloading. Topic: Four-stroke engine. The atmospheric gas engine was in turn replaced by Otto's four-stroke engine. The changeover to four-stroke engines was remarkably rapid, with the last atmospheric engines being made in 1877. Liquid-fueled engines soon followed using diesel around 1898 or gasoline petrol around 1900. Topic: Crossley The best known builder of gas engines in the UK was Crossley of Manchester, who in 1869 acquired the UK and world except German rights to the patents of Otto and Langdon for the new gas-fueled atmospheric engine. In 1876 they acquired the rights to the more efficient Otto four-stroke cycle engine. Topic. Tangy. There were several other firms based in the Manchester area as well. Tangy Limited, of Smethwick, near Birmingham, sold its first gas engine, a one nominal horsepower two-cycle type, in 1881, and in 1890 the firm commenced manufacture of the four-cycle gas engine. Topic. Preservation The Anson Engine Museum in Poynton, near Stockport, England, has a collection of engines that includes several working gas engines, including the largest running Crossley atmospheric engine ever made.
Topic: Current manufacturers. Manufacturers of gas engines include Hyundai Heavy Industries, Rolls-Royce with the Bergen engines as Kawasaki Heavy Industries, Liebherr, MTU Friedrichshafen, GE Genbacher, Caterpillar Inc., Perkins Engines, MWM, Cummins, Vartzilla, GE Energy Waukesha, Guascore Power, Dutes, MTU, Mann, Fairbanks Morse, Doosan, and Yanmar. Output ranges from about 10 kilowatts, 13 horsepower, micro CHP combined heat and power to 18 megawatts, 24,000 horsepower. Generally speaking, the modern high-speed gas engine is very competitive with gas turbines up to about 50 megawatts, 67,000 horsepower, depending on circumstances, and the best ones are much more fuel efficient than the gas turbines. Rolls-Royce with the Bergen engines, Caterpillar and many other manufacturers base their products on a diesel engine block and crankshaft. GE Genbacher and Waukesha are the only two companies whose engines are designed and dedicated to gas alone. Topic. Typical applications Topic stationary typical applications are baseload or high hour generation schemes, including combined heat and power for typical performance figures see, landfill gas, mines gas, wellhead gas and biogas where the waste heat from the engine may be used to warm the digesters. For typical biogas engine installation parameters see. For parameters of a large gas engine CHP system, as fitted in a factory, see. Gas engines are rarely used for standby applications, which remain largely the province of diesel engines. One exception to this is the small topic. transport. The natural gas engines (LNG) are getting more into the marine market as the lean burn gas engine can meet the new emission requirements without any extra fuel treatment or exhaust cleaning systems. Use of engines running on compressed natural gas (CNG) is also growing in the bus sector. Users in the United Kingdom include Reading buses. Use of gas buses is supported by the Gas Bus Alliance and manufacturers include Scania AB. Topic. Use of methane or propane gases Since natural gas methane has long been a clean, economical, and readily available fuel, many industrial engines are either designed or modified to use gas, as distinguished from gasoline. Although the carbon emission footprint does not differ significantly, their operation produces less complex hydrocarbon pollution, and the engines have fewer internal problems. One example is the liquefied petroleum gas propane engine used in vast numbers of forklift trucks. Common U.S. usage of gas to mean gasoline requires the explicit identification of a natural gas engine. There is also such a thing as natural gasoline. But this term, which refers to a subset of natural gas liquids, is very rarely observed outside the refining industry. Topic. Technical details Topic. Fuel air mixing A gas engine differs from a petrol engine in the way the fuel and air are mixed. A petrol engine uses a carburetor or fuel injection but a gas engine often uses a venturi system to introduce gas into the air flow. Early gas engines used a three-valve system, with separate inlet valves for air and gas. Topic. Exhaust valves The weak point of a gas engine compared to a diesel engine is the exhaust valves, since the gas engine exhaust gases are much hotter for a given output, and this limits the power output. 
Thus a diesel engine from a given manufacturer will usually have a higher maximum output than the same engine block size in the gas engine version. The diesel engine will generally have three different ratings, standby, prime, and continuous, UK, one-hour rating, 12-hour rating and continuous rating, whereas the gas engine will generally only have a continuous rating, which will be less than the diesel continuous rating. Topic. Ignition Various ignition systems have been used, including hot tube igniters and spark ignition. Most modern gas engines are essentially dual fuel engines. The main source of energy is the gas-air mixture but it is ignited by the injection of a small volume of diesel fuel. Topic. Energy balance <laughs> Topic. Thermal efficiency Gas engines that run on natural gas typically have a thermal efficiency between 35 to 45% LHV basis. As of year 2018, the best engines can achieve a thermal efficiency up to 50% LHV basis. These gas engines are usually medium speed engines. Bergen engines fuel energy arises at the output shaft, the remainder appears as waste heat. Large engines are more efficient than small engines. Gas engines running on biogas typically have a slightly lower efficiency, approximately 1 to 2%, and syngas reduces the efficiency further still. GE Genbacher's recent J624 engine is the world's first 24-cylinder gas engine with high efficiency running on methane. When considering engine efficiency, one should consider whether this is based on the lower heating value (LHV) or higher heating value (HHV) of the gas. Engine manufacturers will typically quote efficiencies based on the lower heating value of the gas, i.e. the efficiency after energy has been taken to evaporate the intrinsic moisture within the gas itself. Gas distribution networks will typically charge based upon the higher heating value of the gas, i.e. total energy content. A quoted engine efficiency based on LHV might be say 44% whereas the same engine might have an efficiency of 39.6% based on HHV on natural gas. It is also important to ensure that efficiency comparisons are on a like-for-like -like basis. For example, some manufacturers have mechanically driven pumps whereas other use electrically driven pumps to drive engine cooling water, and the electrical usage can sometimes be ignored giving a falsely high apparent efficiency compared to the direct drive engines. Topic. Combined heat and power Engine reject heat can be used for building heating or heating a process. In an engine, roughly half the waste heat arises from the engine jacket, oil cooler and after cooler circuits as hot water which can be at up to 110 degrees Celsius. The remainder arises as high temperature heat which can generate pressurized hot water or steam by the use of an exhaust gas heat exchanger. Topic. Engine cooling Two most common engine types are an air-cooled engine or water-cooled engine. Water-cooled nowadays use antifreeze in the internal combustion engine. Some engines air or water, have an added oil cooler. Cooling is required to remove excessive heat. Overheating can cause engine failure, usually from wear, cracking or warping. Topic. Gas consumption calculation The formula shows the gas flow requirement of a gas engine in norm conditions at full load. Q equals P eta 1 L H V G A 
s display style q equals frac p eta c d o t frac 1 l h v underscore gas where q display style q is the gas flow in norm conditions p display style p is the engine power eta display style eta is the mechanical efficiency lhv as the low heating value of the gas topic gallery of historic gas engines historic gas engines topic see also Autogas CHP directive Cogeneration Gas turbine History of the internal combustion engine List of natural gas vehicles Tables of European biogas utilization Anson Engine Museum